The first day of summer school brought the reality of budget cuts at one East Bay school district into clear focus. And West Contra Costa County schools may be bracing for even more cuts in the near future. With more now, KTV's Jesse Gary live in Richmond tonight. Jesse. Garcia, good, good afternoon. Richmond High administrators are still reeling from 125 pink slips that were handed out recently in the district. And now the school board is set to vote to slash another 23 positions. And of course, students are feeling the impact. We are simply not going to be able to offer all of the classes that students are asking for. The first day of summer school at Richmond High sees some of the 1,200 enrolled students facing difficult choices. 10% of this school's teachers for the 2009-2010 school year have been laid off, and that's created a shortage for this five-week instruction period. Teachers who were pink slipped are not able to sign up for summer school, so we don't, we don't have as large of a pool. To, to pull from. Assistant Principal Jen Bender says some classes may have to be closed, potentially derailing the graduation track for some students. The academic squeeze in this district and many others is a result of the state's $24 billion budget deficit. Both the governor and the legislature propose billions of dollars in across-the-board cuts, including education, which has some parents outraged. No one gives a rat's ass no more. No one gives it. All the, it's money. It's all about money. It's not about, it's not about, you know, what the kids need or what they, they deserve. At Richmond, administrators say class sizes will increase, some classes will be canceled altogether, and there will be fewer teachers. Students are more easily able to slip through those cracks, and when they start to fall behind, they're not getting the personal attention that they need. The union representing 2,000 teachers in the West Contra Costa County School District is calling on the legislature to raise taxes, which would raise revenue. There's no way that we can find our way out of this. They've got to do something, and they just can't keep bleeding us to death. Yeah, the school board is set to take that vote on eliminating the additional 23 positions this Wednesday night. We're live in Richmond this afternoon. I'm Jesse Gary, KTV, Ch Channel 2 News. We'll head back to you.